welcome back to another episode of the FIFA 21 Ultimate Team Road to Glory. It's episode 184, and in today's episode, we've got a lot of objectives to claim. Honestly, I did like 20 objectives. You'll see in a second, I literally had 20 or 21 or something in my thing. We're also going to unlock level 30, level, not level 30, that's a bit too far, level 15, and we've also gonna do a draft because why not so as you can see here look we got 21 objectives to claim uh, so we're gonna start off with the season progress so we've got ourselves two rare gold packs now i've done all this like objectives and stuff like that for team of the season right because we're gonna start project team of the season now that's a bit of a buzzword for me i love it when someone says team of the season don't know what it is just gets me super hyped so we've unlocked them two packs and i think we've also got martins as well we've got the choice of martins gomez or fosu we're gonna pick martins just because sort of about well he's sort of a fifa legend in it so I'm never going to use him anyway, it's just there. Uh, it'll probably go into an SBC, it's a 386 really at the end of the, end of the day, innit? So here we go then, we've unlocked the Silver Stars. Now, I did the Silver Stars by doing the Playground objective, so you, because it's in the Playground mode, if that makes sense. So if you play the Playground mode, you play like 8 games, you get like a 45k pack or something. And if you win 3 games, score 8 and get 6 like a normal Silver Stars, you unlock this Wallace card, so it's not a terrible card to unlock. Like, it looks okay, but obviously Team of the Season is around the corner. That is going to be a woeful co card compared to everyone else. But for now, you know, 5-star skills, if I need him an objective, I'll probably use him. But he's in the, he's in, I mean, yeah, to be fair, actually, he's in the Serie A, so he's not a terrible option to have. Uh, in the in the team if you're going to do an objective so that's that we've also done ourselves a few packs now you can do i think it's the silver beast and like there's another one that you can do in squad battles or rivals where you have to play one more game and you can combine the two get a 50k pack and no it's not a 50k pack get a 55 and i think it's a 45 and then we also unlock a sender here as we're doing right now now i've only unlocked this card simply for fodder i mean i missed out on chowdry and i think there might have been one more because i wasn't really going to be playing fifa that much but now that team of the season's been leaked that it's out next week i thought i'd get back on the grind and uh, we'll do that for now and obviously as well the career mode vote i'm i'm not going to do that now simply because obviously it tots is out next next week so what's the point in starting a career mode when we'll be just absolutely hammering tots content for you know like a month or two and then maybe after that because fifa will be dead and so i might as well just venture out into something else maybe to start a bit of cod don't know we'll just do something different but as you can see here essential has been unlocked and it looks a decent little card to be fair with his agility balance not being the worst he's got decent shooting as well his passing is quite good and obviously he's quite fast so you know decent all around and also with my fodder i've got myself like cruise I've got Modric foot birthday and normal card and I've also got like Benzema so we've got a lot of high rated from Real Madrid. We've also got Courtois and I think maybe uh, Ramos so we've got like five or six different players from the same club which is brilliant for SBCs especially for the high end ones that you need like 80 or 70 chem for so that's absolutely fantastic. Hopefully they're not stiff as this year with the rating for the guaranteed tots packs because obviously for the prem and stuff it was like 88 rated that's something stupid last year it was ridiculous and obviously the rating was not not the rating the chem was so high as well so it made it really really expensive but anyway we've also unlocked the rare mega pack here it's the mega pie i think this is the one where you can do in either rivals or squad battles so that's that done uh, then we've also done oh no it's not it's player days it was player days and this one silver beast so we've unlocked ourselves another two massive packs here. We've also even got the 75 pluses. Now, I don't know what I'm going to do for rewards because obviously rewards day to day. Uh, you'll see my red picks at the end of the video. But, um, what's it called? I can't remember what it's called now. Uh, I always like lose track in these videos and it's not good. Um, think, Luke. Uh, so, that's it, that's it. Right, so rewards. Yeah, so I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't know if I'm going to open them. Like, I might just save the packs. I think I'm going to, because we've got like 30, 40 packs saved up. We've done a few drafts as well, which you'll see like t next week or whatever. So that's also good. Um, and yeah, so I think I'll just start by opening my red picks and that's it. Maybe open one or two packs like the 75 pluses, just get them out of the way. Because it's not going to be that good, because uh, obviously there's no promo in packs, so I might just open them. And obviously we get the players as well, so we can put them into SBCs. Because I've got sort of no players in the club anymore, because we've done marquee matchups as well, which you'll see in a second. We've done the UEFA marquee matchups and also the normal marquee matchups. And I think there were another set of UEFA marquee matchups that came out like 
last night as well, so we've done them as well, so you'll see that eventually as well. Now, another good thing is Weekend Plus is out as well, so that's fantastic. We get either three or two extra red picks. I don't think I'm going to push to Elite this weekend. We'll just go to the 16 wins, get the extra two, and then we can do two 86 pluses for when team of the season comes, which is ridiculous. Uh, hopefully, you know, touch wood, we can get like, I don't know, if, if I save it just for the Prem, then hopefully we can get like, I don't know, I don't know who's going to be in it, a Kane maybe, or a Bruno, or a Kevin De Bruyne, just someone like that, that would be absolute class. But as you can see, I've pretty much bought all of the players for, for these marquee matchups, and that's because my club is very, very low with players at the minute, because obviously we've not opened many packs, uh, I've literally just put everything in like 81 pluses, play picks and stuff like that, so that's, that's my club just gone, so I've had to buy all these players, and that's another thing actually, I'm gonna buy, I think, a lot of like non rares and rares, just the low end ones for like six, seven hundred coins because they're gonna double in price by the time like the upgrades come out for team of the season because everyone's gonna be doing them. The one I pack team of the seasons, and obviously, if hopefully they do bring out the league specific packs, then that's all good because they did that for team of the year, so they should do it for team of the season. If they don't, I'll be surprised, and obviously, it'll be a lot of a well, it'll be a bigger pack rate to get a team of the season as well which is good. So as you can see here, we've just scrolled, well, we're scrolling through the packs, not scrolling. We've got like 30 odd packs, and then we've also done the Liverpool versus uh, Madrid, which happened last night, and obviously the, um, Ma is it Man, no, it's not Man City, this is the day before, and no, no, it's not, yeah, so Liverpool, Real Madrid, and then Man, not Man City, I've done it again, Par Paris versus Bayern. So they were interesting games as well, actually, so obviously Bayern are through, and Liverpool got knocked out, which is a bit unfortunate. Obviously, I want to see as many like English sides go through as possible in the Champions League because I'm an England fan, and obviously I want the English teams to do well because I don't really have like a bias towards anyone in the Prem because obviously I support Bradford, so like it don't really like affect me. So if you know what I mean, like if you're a Man City fan, you don't want Liverpool to go through because you don't like them. But for me, I just want to see an England team win it because. That's good, but anyway, Silver Beast has been completed, now there's another Silver Beast actually that's come out last night and I've completed that as well, so that's good, we've got another Rare Mega Pack, um, but yeah, so now we're going to just go into a draft and then then after the draft we'll just do the red picks and then see what we get, hopefully we can get like a St. Maximin, if not, you know, we'll just stick them in an 86 plus anyway, well Maximin will probably go in an 86 plus anyway because the amount of good players that we're going to get from team of the season that are going to go for like 50 to 100k is going to be quite good. So we're going to start this draft off then in a 4 triple 2 Getting Ronaldo as the first pick, unfortunately it's not his team of the year. And the rest of the draft I'm pretty sure just went downhill. Um, I don't know what it is with drafts. Like you can literally, you either get a really good draft or a really bad draft these days. Like you can already tell the difference that this is probably not going to be the greatest draft. Like as you can see here, Sue check. It, it's just not great. Madison, and then we get ourselves a Chiellini. So it's not terrible, um, but you know it it, it gives us a nice sort of strong link to Ronaldo. So if we can get like Bernadeschi, we don't. But we get ourselves Team of the Brown. Now I'm really really like on the edge of picking Lucas Moura because I've been offered him twice in draft before and I've not picked him and I really want to try him out. In hindsight, I probably should have picked him because I know what De Bruyne's like. Yeah, he's good, but I don't think he's that good anymore. And obviously, the market has crashed massively. We'll do a video on it tomorrow. Uh, he's worth about a million coins now, is, is De Bruyne, which is ridiculous. Um, and obviously, like, Davis as well, he's about a million. We sold him, like, a week or two ago for 1.4, so I'm very lucky that I sold him when I did. Anyway, back to this draft then, it's still not looking very good. We're just not getting the players that we need or that we want. Uh, I mean, the keeper situation is not amazing. We kind of need to get ourselves a centre-back from the Liga, and um, we do just that. Road to the final, Rafa Varane. Now, that card is going to be a monster when he gets upgraded, because obviously they've got through in the Champions League, didn't it, last night? Which is great for them, obviously. Uh, and obviously, sort of good for FIFA if you've got him, but if you don't have this Varane, then if you come up against him weekend league, you'll be crying, like I probably will be. But anyway, next couple of players, we get Perisic. For birthday Perisic, now, I'm not going to show you the gameplay of this draft because I'm losing the second round. We don't speak about that, but yeah, so, um, that Perisic is probably one of the worst cards I think I've ever used in my life. I don't know what it is, he's just so clunky, so big, and, and you can't use him at all, and obviously don't fit the matter of being agile and 
things like that. So I don't, just don't use him. If you're gonna buy him, just just don't because he's terrible. Then we get a salary inform, which is all right because of the formation. I can't really do anything with him. He's got to come on as a sub sub. Then we get a choice of inform Messi or Neymar. Now I'm gonna pick Neymar because he's more skillful and I prefer him on this game. And then finally to end the draft off, we're just gonna pick Max Sons over as he because why not? And then the final thing to do is the manager, and we always get shafted with the manager. I don't know what it is. But like we never seem to get a manager from the league that we need or like the nation that we need. So yeah, as I said, we did uh, lose in the second round. So we're gonna pick up first round rewards. Not great, is it? Two five k packs and like a seven and a half or whatever it is, a five k. I don't know. But yeah, so the one great packs. But we move. So now we're gonna move on to obviously the red picks. Right then, lads. Here we are. This is the table week for the week. Uh, and the funny thing is, we've got a Marusic. Who used to be a winger. Well, he's got a right mid card, yeah, this year. He's now a centre back and he's worth like 50k. Like, he's kind of mad because obviously he's got 90 pace being a winger. They're always quite fast. And he played centre back like last week or whatever. And they got a clean sheet against whoever they got a clean sheet against in Serie A. So, this is obviously the team of the week. They're probably the players that I want the most. Obviously, Gucci uh, and obviously my man Paul Pogba being 400k. But that's about it, really. To be fair, I've genuinely just take fodder at this point. Uh, we're going to start off by claiming the division rival rewards. Uh, hopefully, I've got rank one. If I haven't, then I'll be crying. But here we go, then. Uh, yeah, I think that is rank one, isn't it? Yeah, so there you go. Class. Save them for team of the season. Brilliant, brilliant stuff. Uh, obviously we got all that and then the next thing I need to do is get myself my foot champs So here we go then right here we go bang foot champs has been claimed Blah 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 we get everything save them all we're just gonna open the player picks today So come on then give me like a Gucci just for the bench Bang the first one's been pressed and it is pretty terrible we're gonna get all ban yes To be fair I, I, that's what I kind of want I just want fodder Second one, bang, it's been opened, and again, it's terrible. We'll take just the striker, because why not? It doesn't really matter. So we'll add these to the team of the weeks that we've got in red, uh, and then we'll obviously give it a nice little count. So I did, just before I did this video, like, have a look see how many I've got. And obviously I've got 11, plus I've got the 5 on the bench, and we've now got it 7. So that means we've got 18, and we need another four to get um to get two 86 pluses which obviously is quite good don't know if i'm going to save it for like the big team of the seasons like for the all of them or just use it on prem but obviously we are going to have to submit a chiellini and Morata as a have it and a coop Myers and also a jesus navas if we want to do the second one which is obviously quite a lot of fodder you know 89 is probably going for like what 60k now and so it's quite a lot of money to chuck away but it's probably going to be worth it if we get a team in the season. But anyway, that is going to wrap up the end of the episode. So if you enjoyed the video, give it a like, subscribe if you are new to the channel, and I'll catch you in the next one tomorrow.